But alrighty, folks, it's time to begin watching the uh, 2.5 special program within like three minutes or so. So yeah, to recall, Fei Xiao, Ling Xia, and Mose are gonna be uh, playable in this update. And of course, we're gonna get the end to the uh, Borison arc, as I like to call it, for the Xianzhou. Because, you know, 2.4 left it off on a cliffhanger with um, Huli escaping and everything. And <laughs> the potential cliffhanger that, you know, ooh, we may be stuck in that prison. Alrighty, Hoyo. What you got cooking for us? And the funny thing, this was like two days after Natlin's release. It's just like, man, being just swarmed with Hoyo stuff right now. This program's brought to you by the IPC. And whether or not your world has a day-night cycle, hey, good morning, March. good afternoon, and good evening. I'm your good buddy, March 7th. Before we ever went to the oh my God, we're show, <laughs> are we getting VTuber March 7th ceremony? again? <laughs> and now look. I am currently on the Sienjo Lofu, where the ceremony will be held, bringing you the first on-site report. Hey, March 7th! <laughs> Just because we're shooting outside doesn't mean you can do whatever you want! <laughs> State etiquette, remember? Uh, don't worry, Albert. I recently started training under my new masters, and those moves you just saw <laughs> were legit! <laughs> and look at my outfit! Isn't it just so cute? See, this is how an amateur host behaves. What kind of host starts showing off their outfit before they've even finished introduction? How do you know the audience doesn't want to see this? Speaking of outfits, hey, March, where's your other outfit? Know how you You're feel like princess wear. Outfit. When are we going to get that? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <coughs> As a host with many years of experience, let me remind our amateur host, who's only done this twice, it's time <laughs> to start the program! Oh, uh, oh right! Uh, oh. Up next, explore the Sienjo with March 7th! We're not at the park yet! Uh, oh, <laughs> Play the trailer! Uh, $19.99, this special discount is only available from the Interstellar Shopping Network! What the heck have you been watching on the Sienjo? <laughs> Forget it! It's time for the expert to take over! What you learn? Uh, we love our, we stand our girl failure march. Uh, okay, here we go, trailer time. Welcome, Whoa. welcome everyone to the war dance. Wait, huh? Luca, what are you doing here? Both fighters are ready. Yo, we we're actually having like a tournament arc right now. Oh now. shit! Mm, spicy. Oh shit! Everybody see it. F I'm so putting some spar on there. <laughs> welcome, Miss Lingshaw. I am Preceptor Tauron. Hey, yo, let's go! A total sparkle! Looks like the Alchemy Commission is involved I gotta say, though, I'm not gonna be pulling for her. Her design's very pretty. I helped plot the prison break in the Shackling Prison. Seychelles, the boys of Star Haven are crawling with wolf like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back! I will be there immediately! Let's go, I got to see mommy, yo! I'll see the general's oh, duty through to my last breath. Oh yeah, the fucking gun spear, let's go! Also, oh, wait, hang on, I gotta... It's a quality of stream. Domination. <laughs> okay, it's locked to 720p, apparently. Oh, oh Hule! Oh, did, did you just summon a fucking eagle? <laughs> The arrows of the hunt will oh, pierce the heart of Yo, every yes, I monster. It. Yes, we're gonna get Jing Liu back to beat the shit out of Hulei. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and this your first redemption code, folks. Yo, this update looks sick. Oh, I, I'm excited for the tournament arc, honestly. And, you know, as well as dealing with Hulei, but holy shit. We're getting the fucking Bellabog gate characters out of Bellabog, finally. Oh my god, <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking hype ass update. And yeah, Jing Liu's finally back. Finally, she has a part in like the actual like main story instead of, you know, the sub stories. <laughs> I'm assuming Huli is gonna be like a big boss fight and everything. Welcome back to the version 2.5 Flying Aurea Shot to Lupine Ru special program. I'm sure you all are brimming with anticipation after seeing that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> with that in mind, let's head it back over to our correspondent on the CN show and see what's been happening there. Hello, March 7th. <laughs> are we doing a Zoom March call for one right now? Well, 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 uh, March 7th. Uh, yeah. We're in the CN <laughs> uh, Could you briefly yeah, describe to I... us? Uh, Quit talking over each other. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. Seems like a delay, huh? How about this, March 7th? Then I'll Why don't 
Let's get started. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Uh, dear viewers, I am at the venue where the war dance will take place. The Sky Splitter! Let me tell you a secret. It seems like something big will happen on the Sienjo. In this very spot, one of the... Oh. Uh, 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 March 7th? Uh-oh. No, 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 don't disconnect the most important part. Uh, oh, God. God. <laughs> uh, turn, turn it off now. Come on, Hoya. We just got out of the COVID period. We don't need to be reminded of it. Our outdoor broadcast. So uh, let me introduce the very special guest for today's program. Uh, the new Cauldron Master of the Cienjo. Oh, poor Martin Seven. She's just getting kind of out. Lingsha. Yo. I am Lingsha. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. The I love the little bunny that she has on the side there. Cienjo Yaojin. Fei Shao. Yo, everyone. best girl. General Fei Shao is busy dealing with some very important things, so she asked the little Fu to have someone fill in for her. <laughs> um, and finally, the shadow guard of the Xianzhi Yaoqing, Mo, Moza, 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 whatever. Let's once again, welcome <laughs> However's everyone with a warm round of applause. <coughs> March, <7th. laughs> March, <Are you> there. <laughs> Fix your damn Wi Fi. Are we? Back? Quick connecting like to McDonald's. Arch might have a problem. Is it serious? <laughs> Looks like the issue hasn't been fixed yet. My deepest apologies to your guests. <laughs> Mr. Albert, there's no need to apologize. These things happen. We all understand. Please do not stress so much. It's not good for your health. Yeah, someone gets silent speed out so to fix right. that shit. <laughs> then, uh, let's just focus on our studio for now. I'll find him. Hmm. I promise. <laughs> Frozen screen. March seventh. March. Oh, the time. If I Your may McDonald's be so bold fix? to ask, there's one thing I don't <laughs> understand. If Hule is the Foxian's greatest enemy, why hasn't the Yaoqing gotten rid of him in these past seven hundred years? Well, because he can't die. Send people to visit him. Uh, apparently, it has something to do with never dying in eternal punishment or something. My notes suggest asking General Jing Yuan later. He's better at explaining these things. It yeah, get, like get Jing Yuan on speed, though. That also, you know, up in call for tech support. <laughs> Finest duel under the pristine blue, too. The only thing left is the task of defeating Hu Lei. I, I, I. <laughs> hey, March, are you volunteering again? Uh, seems like it's not lagging anymore on my end. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can now, but, you know, hear you. how about you actually pay for your Wi-Fi? <laughs> uh, where are we in the program now? Where you defeat Hule. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough jokes for now. The audience is getting impatient, Mr. Albert. Let's start the next segment. <laughs> yes, uh, banners, whatever. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, I fucking love her weapon, honestly. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's both a gun and an axe. Oh my god, is that is this a burst? Holy shit! Omni slash! Holy shit! Wait. Oh, that's a legit As fucking eagle know, coming out of her, or whatever that's coming out of her thing. Holy shit! The vanquishing general in the alliance. Her burst looks absolutely Today, sick. I love it. We're to get a look at the general's heroism in battle. The general said. Great victories are won by the whole army. It would be quite narcissistic and inappropriate of me to take all the credit. Lacking <laughs> general, lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. We can also add, lacking in care for others' opinions of her, lacking in respect for her doctor's advice, <laughs> and lacking in peers when she's had too much to drink. That's what Zhao Cho said, and I agree. <gasps> Is that really true? Everyone has their own way of doing things. I find this kind of general very interesting. But still, you should really listen to your doctor. Uh-huh. Gotta follow the doctor's orders. Only with the most extreme self-discipline can you become stronger than everyone else. <laughs> Next, let's take a look let's at the she's strong, even though she's a hunt character. Because, you know, hunt characters general tend to get a bad reputation nowadays. The path of the hunt. And excels in all I kinds of battles. <laughs> Splits the axe in half and, and fucking... Oh my god, he even stepped on one of those... Using gun blades and a like battle weapons. Axe God, it was sure me. 
The general also works closely with Yo, I'm also a show gameplay of him. teammates attack the enemy. Oh, they are will now, launch but... a follow up attack and increease the damage dealt to the enemy. Oh, yes, yeah, so yeah. follow up DPS. So, after I'm hoping she works well in the ratio. Uh, That's right. Aventurine team. After she uses her skill, Feisha will immediately trigger her talent's follow up attack one time. Which is okay. Face shall consume six points of flying Aureus and she like, Yeah, I love this attack by the way. She like takes her jacket off her and just starts fucking pummeling. That's so badass. Then she strikes the enemy with a final blow. Flying Aureus can accumulate up to 12 points. Different combat strategies are needed. Oh, to yeah. with <laughs> look look at that things. shit. For Prepare example, to die, Hule. Actually, wait, that, that is Hule, actually. Enemies. But if the enemy is not weakness broken, the battle axe deals more damage. The Merlin's oh. claw swoop down. Strike it deals more damage when they're not weakness broken. Okay. The skies. Flying Aureus is the spirit is bestowed upon the general by the rainbow. It's the source of her power and her duty. The general's technique is also very unique. Oh, Using she summons a freaking tornado. <laughs> her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain range. What? <laughs> if the general attacks while in her tank, <laughs> enemies venting? pulled in will enter combat, and she actually will no deal animal travelers more accurate. The general will also you gain just flying or his points. Yeet enemies and like that. Enemies pulled in. The Hold them in and just fucking damage. take them with you. The Azure Dragon draws that looks, forward, and that the looks flying sick, actually. lies in wait. The grace of General Fei Xiao is truly admirable. Let's just say she doesn't care what others think of her when she gets worked up. We also have another little announcement. Oh. General Fei Xiao's animated short and myriad Celestia videos will be released. I will be there no really matter what. In version 2.5, I General will be watching Fei those Xiao no matter what. Also introduce a brand new trial for the Trailblazers. Oh yeah, how would that work with Jingli's freeze? Inner. Beast and like all the beast. and all other effects. How would that work? <laughs> Yo. Is this like teasers of her in the story or oh no, this is like the boss they're fighting. Wait, no, wait, we're fighting? No, we're fighting Face Out. Wait, what? Why? Oh fuck, she's a boss? Oh shit! She's got like fucking Naruto's Kurama or something ah, that she's like riding. What the hell? Fighting friends wherever we go continues. I smell the scent of blood. This flying Aureus. Oh, okay, that looks terrifying. Unusual. Yes, the opponent in this trial is a shadow. You think she's Mara struck? Maybe. An apparition of flying Aureus. I don't know what's the happening here. Like, are we sparring or is she trying to kill us? Goes. If you know yourself and know your enemy, why do we you fight her? Not lose. I thought I thought Kool was like the only boss <laughs> in this update. What? Before you take on the general's trial, I prepared an exclusive battlefield report for you. Ecliptic Inner Beast and Shadow of Faceal have three phases. Ecliptic Inner Beast Shadow will the battle starting from the second phase. Different parts of the beast. That's okay. So that's what this boss called Shadow Faceal. Are we going battle, Persona here? Shadow of Fei Shao resonates with Ecliptic oh Inner Beast's parts. <laughs> Kamiha, <laughs> Resonate will cause the Inner Beast part's next action to be enhanced and greatly increase the threat they pose to the team. Shadow of Fei Shao's ability deals massive damage to all targets. Oh. When using this ability, every part that is yet to be broken will increase the damage dealt by the ability oh, okay so there's like multiple the ability will enhance things you need to attack okay tail broken. head and then it claw seems okay like the best strategy is to weakness break the so it's kind of like the uh, resonant states as quickly as possible then the shadow of space station boss is much less dangerous keep forgetting their name attacking the weakness broken inner beast parts will deal even more damage to shadow of face Shao. after completing <laughs> the trial Shadow of Fei Xiao. So is this not actually her? It's like a copy of her? I, I don't know. Materials. Friendly reminder, the advanced trace materials used by General Fei Xiao is Regret of Infinite Okuma. Next, I'd like to introduce the new hmm. Cauldron Master who has returned to the Law Fu from the Zuming, Miss Ling Sha. Give it up for <laughs> Older Sparkle. I will never stop making that joke. I, though I will say her animations look beautiful. Oh yeah, elegance. Oh, this her burst? 
Yo, that looks cool. Miss Lingsha is as light. Oh yeah, she's got attack burst, right? Just like Gallagher's. And she has hmm. a very pleasant scent. <laughs> you flatter me, Miss. I wasn't Quay. expecting that though. I wasn't expecting I a face a healer, out boss and fight. I've always carried medicinal incense with me. We had a healer on the show last time, but all we could smell was. Hot yeah, hot. we had a healer on the show last <laughs> time, but you know he wasn't actually a healer. He was not healer. Be. And food as medicinal therapy. Oh, and thank you to Mr. Albert for interpreting for me. The scent of this smart bird definitely has. <laughs> Gourmand notes. <laughs> hey, don't I eat the Albert, that not please. Not only is Miss Lingshaw good at identifying people by smell, she is also quite capable in combat. As a healer, I excel at using incense to heal others, but also <laughs> weaken that our enemies. Idol. In Ew, combat, you smelly. My skill deals damage to Get away all from enemies, me, Genshin player. And restores HP for all allies. I'm joking, I'm joking. Through my talent, my skill summons the incense beast, Fu Yuan. Fu Yuan launches a follow-up attack during its action, oh. dealing damage to all enemies. Oh, it she has, also dispels she has one debuff from okay. all allies and restores HP. Oh, this incense beast looks so pink and soft. It's adorable. A healer will fall <laughs> attack. Did not expect that. From okay, we need to reconsider. <laughs> and it helps me in battle. But okay, but that's not enough though. I want to see more. It dissipates like smoke after a few actions. <gasps> Can we make it stay a little longer? Yes, it's not too difficult. When Fu Yuan is on the field, I only need to use my skill to increase its number of actions. When I use my ultimate, I deal damage to all enemies and heal all allies. Okay. At the same time, I inflict the befog state on all enemies. Enemies in this state also take more break damage. Oh, when so I use my technique so before very similar to battle, Gallagher. I immediately although more, summon uh, she Fu Yuan more offensive at the start than healing. of the next battle and inflict befog on all enemies. A very Gee, I wonder what her kid, her, what her kid reminds me With of. your help on the team, your allies will be well protected. A uh, cauldron master Lingsha? Uh, can I borrow the incense beast? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, this is like exactly like Gallagher, but Gallagher was released like three time. updates ago. Oh, done for. This is the biggest fumble in the history of this program. I'm so done for. Like for Clara and Yun Li, <laughs> that's like a whole year apart, so... Mr. That's excusable, but still. Could you help us out and introduce yourself? My name is Mozza. Mozza. I'm General Fei Shao's shadow guard. Let's see him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Brooding in dark energy. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Yo, look at this man and his drip. Oh my god, the fucking walk away. Is that his burst? Holy shit. My Ooh. work doesn't really lend itself to Yo, being ben. in the limelight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really think that. Through. Hello, Dark it Kave. Can't be helped. <laughs> Mr. Albert, the general said this is Mwodz's first time doing a media interview. I apologize for his bluntness. Yo, no worries. And right, yeah, he's I lightning hunts as general well. General to need a shadow guard to protect her? <laughs> I really hope he's good. I, I really Albert hope he's like Galaga levels of good. A shadow guard working at the general's side isn't the same as a bodyguard. Uh, Mr. Mwodza is mainly in charge of gathering intelligence. He helps the general deal with matters that she can't personally deal with. Could be. I've heard legends about a crow feathered weirdo on the outside. Crow feathered weirdo, I mean, yeah, that's a title. Fights crime. <laughs> Often hiding in the shadows, taking the heads of his targets. Okay, mostly, please be on and face off banner, many please. Who intend to do evil. Zhao Cho made that all up. <laughs> it sounds like there'd be feathers all over the place. That's not me. I clean up after myself. <laughs> oh, you really are perfectionist, Mr. Moza. That's right. The general said when they were all eating hot pot at Zhao Cho's place, I Zhao Cho went to answer the phone halfway through. <laughs> when he came back, Muota had already cleaned up the pot and all the bowls. I did what I needed to. <laughs> yes, Mr. Moza, what are you doing? The floor is dirty. <laughs> that feeling of finally eliminating years of stubborn filth. It's indeed refreshing. As expected of someone with so much initiative. I don't like the fact that Lingsha has like now, the darkness over her eyes. She looks like she's gonna fucking snap. <laughs> All right. 
Mr. Moza is a lightning type character following the path of the hunt. Yeah, for a character that Correct. seems like an assassin, he's really a, cl a, a clean freak. Marks a enemy as the prey and deals lightning damage to it. Yes. Mr. Moza, don't you have anything Oh, yeah, his animation looks so, so Are badass. Are you asking me to? Uh, um, no. Oh, he looks like a All dark right, aura on the enemy, okay. My talent will allow me to enter the departed state while a prey exists on the field. Oh. While now prey exists on the field, okay. So that's what the, the that dark aura thing is about. allies attack the prey, Moza deals additional damage to the prey. Mr. Moza's ultimate deals damage to a single target and launches a follow-up attack. Ah, okay, so that's his follow-up. After I use my technique, I will enter stealth mode. Oh. Attacking an enemy in stealth mode increases the damage cool. dealt in combat. Ten steps in, and one is slain. So it seems like a your stats go down whenever you attack the prayed enemy. The deed is done. I wonder what that's all about. His are clean. He buries them all. I'm gonna have to examine his full kit when he comes out, but I'm definitely gonna try and snag him. There's another him. advantage of hiding. When you're on a mission, you can avoid getting the area or yourself dirty. Uh, well, yeah, he's like uh, Levi from yes. AOT. You're, <laughs> you're right. Great for our sponsors. The With a clean freak aspect while well, being a badass. <laughs> Uh. All right, dear audience, we now have some special news for you. Oh? In version 2.5's oh, first half yes. warp event, Trollbase yes, can yes, acquire yes. the limited five-star uh, Mostly on Faceout's banner, yes. Oh, and I have some Luka as well, okay. Fourth to hunt will also have a boosted drop rate. Ooh, and Pearl's a sweat light cone on the, on the uh, light cone banner. A special warp event will be launched in the first mm. half of 2.5. The limited five-star character. Robin's getting a rerun Robin, already. Black Swan and Kafka will return at the uh, same time. The limited five-star light. Code, didn't she get released like two updates need, ago? And reforge remembrance. Black Swan's getting a rerun return. too. I Wait need to remind everyone that in this four, special warp event, four character the warp banners for the guaranteed five-star will all be in phase one. The rerun banners and current limited banner. So Switching banners during the warp will not reset the count for the guarantee. Wait. And each limited character can only be acquired from their own respective banner. The special warp events will open periodically, giving viewers more opportunities to invite their favorite characters to join the team. Oh, so you can choose. And if you don't want to invite them, you can still get more stellar You can choose between the three. Games. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> actually a great banner Every system. Five, second half warp event. Oh, Trump okay. Is Moss is getting on his own light cone, too. And shot, Misha, Natasha, Gwen Eiffel. Mm -hmm. not, not four sides, but we'll I would use exactly. Boosted drop rate. At the same time, the four star light cone, Shadowed by Night, will be available in the second half warp Okay, it's Hunt Assignment. It's not, not like to mention the drop rates okay. for the limited five star character. And who's the other ones? Topaz and, Topaz. and the limited five star light cone, Worrisome Blissful, will also be boosted. Is it just her? Or? All right, that's all for our commercial. Wow, that's. Our wow, they want to make bank with <laughs> freaking phase one. We'll see you in a bit. Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka? That was not expected. Yeah, what the fuck? I didn't expect that. You mean able to choose, like, which banner you want to go for? Okay, that's going to make the rerun issue much, much better, then. Because, yeah, normally you have to wait, like, years for, like, a character to get a rerun. But now it's just like, yeah, maybe, maybe this way they can, like, rerun banners a lot faster. Yeah, I guess that explains why Rappa's the only one. That, yeah, maybe, like, there's gonna be like, a, a ton of reruns gonna be in, uh, in, in 2.6, then. Hmm. Didn't they say you have the option to not want the 5 star to come? Uh, did they say that? I'm sorry, I, I I was, like, too busy freaking out over the, the three banner stuff to listen to what he's had to say. Uh, we'll, we'll go back on the YouTube live stream once it's over, just to re-examine that. I just gotta, you know, remind myself to do so. Holy shit, though. I was like, what, Robin? Welcome and then back, Black Swan viewers. came up, and then, then Kafka came up. I was just like, what? the latest news about the war dance ceremony. <laughs> like, triple <laughs> reruns. But our communications with the on-site reporter haven't... Like, we're not, a going to, we're not gonna do double reruns. We're just gonna jump straight to, to, to triple. Mr. Albert, where is the connection port in the studio? Huh? Uh? <laughs> What happened? Where'd he go? I brought back the footage. Uh, hi, Albert. Oh. <laughs> that was so scary. Someone with a hoodie suddenly gave me a hard drive and said something about connecting to the studio. What's going on? I used a hard drive to bring back March 7th's footage. 
and I'll use it to send over the studio's footage. It's very simple. <laughs> Looks like we can continue the program. So this is how you solve the problem. Will it not be too difficult for Mr. Modza to run back and forth like that? Why? It's just running. Uh, my apologies. Then thank you for your hard work, Mr. Moza. <laughs> hey, March Evan, can you hear me? Yes, Albert. The uh, highly anticipated war dance is about to begin. Yeah, and show us that tournament arc that we saw earlier, please. Right behind me. <laughs> uh, here we go. We're in the port side audience seats on the upper floor of the sky splitter. Yo, it's a whole us arena and everything. That oh shit. Below us. <laughs> Soon, the most anticipated event, the Lawfu Ringmasters match, will be held here. To prepare for the war dance, the Sienjo Lawfu transformed this old military battleship into the venue for the competition. So on oh, the that's splitter, yeah, right. That's the location that we saw it like in 2.4. Would that we could like actually go this to? Huge cannon. This was the main cannon the Sky Splitter was equipped with. Yo, please tell me those cannons like fire off at some point. Salutes. And like kill fool cool or something. The sky splitter will fire a salute. Yo, Apart from the competition tournament arc the begin. Deck, the different cabins on the sky splitter have also been transformed into different areas to serve the contestants, tourists, and the media. Further of course, down, there's gotta be a food stand here. Like the contestant training area and the star skip entry and exit hold. Currently, Dude, this, the this, this, this area looks huge. If you're interested and here in I thought the freaking Shackling prison was humongous. In the hall. We look forward to everyone coming to the Sky Splitter. Yeah, thank you, Mozzie, for the tech support. <laughs> latest report. Thank you, March 7th. The Luminary, Luminary War Dance Ceremony. Oh, you get a new wallpaper out of this. We'll finally Is that Luca and Yanchi on it? Totally. Lots of people signed up. Shang Shang's participating too. The general also Shang says. Shang. <laughs> Making friends through martial arts is one of my favorite things to do. If I were allowed to, I'd go and fight a few rounds too. If the general participated, there'd be nothing to compete for. To keep the competition interesting, the best masters aren't allowed to participate. I'm Damn. guessing <laughs> that the crew of the Astral Express chose not to participate for the same reason. Oh. Of course. After thinking it through, we Wait. decided to keep our reputation a secret Wait. and let the trailblazer... Wasn't the whole point of the 2.4 event the was to literally let March participate in the war dance? <laughs> At the same time... What do you mean the Astro Twist is not competing? Iron-armed young man from Belaba has no, also arch. come to the sea You mean that trading arc for you was all for nothing? Is that the planet that was once hidden in a snowstorm? I have heard very little about it. It seems that routes from Belabog to other worlds have now opened up. Yes, That's right. they can finally this leave the snow planet. His name is Luca. Now that these roots have been restored, he's come to the war dance with the mission of showing off Bellabog's style to the Okay, so this is like Luca's going to be like the main star of this update. Oh, uh, well, this event, I mean. Yeah, right here. <laughs> A young red-haired iron arm <laughs> man from the lone city of the Winterlands. For the first time and will be in an unfamiliar place. If he has no one to guide him... He will likely run into many obstacles. Don't worry, Miss Lingsha. Don't forget that the Trailblazer is also coming to the Sky Splitter. I love Lucas, so Our yeah, I'm glad we're getting more of him. Is known for being a kind-hearted person. They'll definitely not sit by and watch an old friend flounder around like a fish out of water. During the war dance, uh, the Trailblazer will be coming with Lucas' begin. gold medal coach. Oh, we're in Lucas. With him. Oh, we're coaching him. Challenge. Okay. According to the intel I've collected, the Luminary War Whoa. Dance event consists of multiple competitions. In We're gonna give Luca a training arc Contestants as well? must first participate in a point-based tournament to earn points. And only after accumulating a certain number of points will they qualify for the face-off match of that competition. That's right. Our contestant Luca needs to defeat key opponents in each face-off oh. match one by oh, one. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have Luca versus Topaz and then Yenching at the end. Final showdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, another match, that the IPC another update where you get to beat Yenching up again. The Inter Astral Peace Corporation will also participate in the war dance under the guidance of Coach Topaz. They may even face off against Luca in the competition. In addition, Boot Hill, yo! Ranger Boot Hill and the Knight of Beauty. Oh, we're facing all our friends in this. Okay. In the arena in various roles. 
In every match, the Trailblazer will need to help Luka display his martial prowess to the fullest extent. Oh, and you're and open. Wow, wow. we're facing everybody, even Su Shang, even though he's not, she's not actually there. Actually earn vibes based on how much the audience supports either side. So, the audience outside the ring can provide assistance? I feel like I'm gonna love this event. The combat events in this game are always super fun. Increasing participation and providing a more immersive experience. Completing designated actions during the match and achieving highlights will greatly increase your vibes and conversely cause your, your vibes? opponent's vibes to decrease. <laughs> Not what I thought I hear from When most. either participant's vibes reach the maximum, the match will enter the enhanced inspiration state. The participant who earns the audience's support will gain stronger buffs and easily win the match. Oh, okay. Right, then, March 7th. Is there anything you want to add? You die, Silver Wing Hearts. <sighs> Watching the preparations for the war dance with all of you has my hands itching for more. It just so happens I've learned a few moves from my masters. So why don't I take the opportunity to show them to everyone? Uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Watch this! <laughs> How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you you can do better. Believe Come I'll on. The top of the war dance with my skills. When that happens, you'll all have to call me Sword Champion March seventh. <laughs> okay, Mark, you're giving mixed signals. Earlier, you said you weren't. Too. The Astro Toast wasn't participating. Like, come on. I don't know if you become Sword Champion, but I do know Sword Champions will hit themselves in the head with their own sword. Well, I am still learning, but I think that everyone who's coming to participate in the war dance this time will have profound martial arts skills. And we'll all be first-class masters! That's right! We are all looking forward to enjoying a spectacular war dance ceremony! I found the problem. <laughs> this guy chewed through the wires. That's why there was a problem with <laughs> no, March 7th's let go of the connection. No, <laughs> Isn't this a tusk bar? I have one too. It is a creature that subsists on memoria. Oh, wait, no, that, that's not something, Chaz Bunny. That's something else. Sleep quality and relieve anxiety and depression. <laughs> Such a lively tusk bird. Does it take after its owner? This is a little sudden. What? But its owner oh, that looks actually in the game. Trailblazer. <laughs> That's right. Wait. Trailblazers can obtain the pet tusk bird by completing activities related oh, to the Aww. Luminary War Dance. And some yes. to their side. <laughs> Hopefully, can we finally get our seal of pets in the game? Mr. Let's Will's go. Over discovering it. <laughs> oh, why is my show so unlucky? The team is currently fixing the oh, line. Oh, we have that thing following me everywhere. <laughs> Great. Let's check out the other exciting events this version Oh, God. Is it going to be an event surrounding the freaking... The wave of the war dance ceremony. Jungle <laughs> puzzles. The meteor puzzles. Organized a temple fair offering... Oh, yeah, what about Bumbles? What about our trotter? I could even have him follow along. Commission, the Shackling Prison, Actually, I wonder. If we use splitter, that with Topaz, we have, like, just two pets following you around. For instance... The fun inventory arrangement gameplay that Trailblazers loved is making a comeback. Trailblazers will need to stack cargo on oh, this one again. To reach the shipping target. Okay, this event Every was okay. Every fair activity has both normal and ascension difficulties. After finishing all the normal levels, you can unlock the ascension difficulty. Complete different activities to collect Oh god, there's like <laughs> art modes Using for these the ones now. Okay. Using the as a stage for the festival is rather strange. It's also to spice up the judge's free time with some fun cultural activities and bring everyone closer together. <clears throat> and, and, and that's not all. Oh. There's also a fresh update to oh, the Divergent, to Divergent Universe. universe. Okay. This time, the Divergent Universe oh, brings us level new 80. Curios, okay. curios, and occurrences. Along Ooh, with new some stuff too. Oh, been made to okay. Existing equations, weighted curios, and blessings. The goal is to nice. I'm a, I actually love Divergent Universe, so this shit's gonna be awesome. Oh, new events too. Gameplay modes. The adventure domain. Oh the god, you have to do this. Now features Wait. Cowboy Showdown and Surging Firepower Challenges. Oh god, you have to Each you have to do the freaking objectives. We're in shooter to stuff in the Simulator Universe now too. To earn adventure rewards. During the challenges, reward targets. I mean, I didn't love this uh, gameplay part, but will randomly appear. Smashing I guess it could be interesting. We'll grant corresponding <laughs> rewards, adding bonuses to the trials. What? This thing is interesting. It seems to improve eyesight and agility. Yeah, Mr. I wasn't a big fan of the Hanu shooter stuff. Game, okay? If not, I'm up next. Direct face-offs don't suit me. 
If I must, I think pick it, one, I think it's only because it'll be there's that just that one power. challenge where I have to do yeah. it like 15 <laughs> times, which is just way too many Since for me. Here, why Maybe it's not as bad in DU. You an adventure arcade near the Divergent Universe's activation device oh. on the Radiant Belt Bar. In the arcade, you can try out a variety of new and old adventure modes. Oh, Miss Ling Sha, if you've got some extra time on your hands. Okay, so you can just play the mini games. Too. So I guess oh, just that's practice them. Check it out. <laughs> After work. Aside from that, that's Dr. useful Ratio for like practicing laser ones mostly. To the divergent universe, allowing trailblazers to explore even more trails. The synchronicity level has also been increased to level 80. 80, and yep. The research of geniuses and Which means more rewards. Continues. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's not all. The divergent universe oh. has also added two oh, new, new ornaments. Okay. Lushaka. The Sunken Seas and the Wondrous Banana Amusement Park. In the next update, oh, players new, can look forward oh, to materials. the materials. Okay, I thought those were new shadow, relics. Shape of Mech Wolf and Stagnant Shadow Shape of Glow. <laughs> okay, so the glass By is going to be for Feisha. The lightning one is going to be for Mosse. Presumably, the Beast Coffin and the Wind Type Character Essential Material, a glass of the Besotted Era. These materials will be used. I see, Lightning Type and Wind Type, yeah, respectively. Yeah, there's no pre-farming for, for Fei Xiao, unfortunately, but I think you can pre-farm for Ling Xiao. Viewers, be sure to grab those oh. double rewards! Oh, yep, a double relic as well. Ugh. Always a good All thing. All that info in one breath. Take it easy on yourself, Albert. Whew. <laughs> That's work for you. <laughs> Let's take a short break. There are even more great things ahead. Okay, so far this has been a good live stream so far. Oh man, that, that that tournament arc like event looks actually actually pretty fun. Oh man, I absolutely want to play this. Yeah, when does this update come out, by the way? Um, it's gotta be like mid September, right? <laughs> in in the height of all my uh, all my busy work. Hmm. Oh, see, so yeah, I just posted the uh, yeah the thing in yeah the redemption code in uh, the chat. So be sure you copy and paste that to redeem it. Honestly, yeah, I feel like Genshin should like do one of these at some point, like double um, artifact events. I don't, I don't know why they don't. They do ones for talent books, do ones for ley lines, but never for the artifact domains for some reason. It's honestly kind of baffling. <laughs> I would also say for Zenless, but you know, Zenless is new and all, so give them time. Maybe they, they will put in one in there at some point. But yeah, so Welcome far this back, update's been pretty good. Now that we've come to the end of all this, looks show. pretty fun. <laughs> I thought there was more to come. It's already the end of the show. Here comes the exciting part. Uh, we getting any news about the uh, fate collab? <laughs> the never-ending, never-absent gift of Odyssey. Yeah, free temple. Why aren't you saying anything <laughs> before the guests always shut that with me? <laughs> You're right. That's actually pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the day right. they stop doing these free tentpoles is when <laughs> it's when the, the Hawkeye Star Rail plays audience. start the riot. Oh, tell us about it. Version 2.5 introduces a new pre-battle difficulty oh? selection feature and the option to reselect the oh. difficulty after a failed battle. Trouble casual mode and normal casual mode. Casual mode and normal mode. Oh, okay, so for it's kind of like Zenless. If you want a more laid-back adventure, so people can stop complaining about the story the boxes. <laughs> Is it using some type of sacred instrument to weaken enemies? It's dimensional tech. You could also call it metaverse tech. <laughs> no, don't bring Finally that one up. Connected. The show uh, hasn't finished yet, right? Not yet. We're just about to say goodbye to everyone. Aww. Oh, it's been a really long day. Well, at least I managed to catch the end. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to Interastral Peace Media, the war dance ceremony organizers, my two masters, and most importantly, the Trailblazers for their encouragement. <laughs> uh, I, uh... <laughs> yeah. Voice it! Kitty, how would they accept this page? <laughs> uh, I saw that other shows always end with a lot of thank yous. <laughs> when you're accepting anyway, an award, I yeah. I look forward <laughs> but... to seeing everyone on the Sky Splitter <laughs> and wish all of the contestants the best of luck. <laughs> March nailed it. I could never. Casual see players will finally be able to beat Aventurine. Oh yeah, true. They nerfed <laughs> the Aventurine the boss fight. But Fischel I beat it before, like they nerfed it. So. 
from providing yeah. testimony. To <laughs> Everybody who beat him before the nerf prisoners. are true gamers. The trailblazers are valued guests of the alliance who have come to our aid numerous times only to face dangers repeatedly. There is undoubtedly a shortcoming in our hospitality, and we take full responsibility. We will swiftly address this crisis and provide a vibrant war dance for everyone to enjoy. At the same time, oh. I would like to take this opportunity <gasps> to present a small gift to the Trailblazer on a behalf thousand of the free jades, ten, wishing them a smooth ten journey fuel. Ahead. Should the Astral Express and also the any material things, in the future, what? Don't hesitate to reach out. The Yao Ching is always ready to help. Just, oh, just for free? Thank you, General Fei Yo! Xiao. Thank you, Xianzhou Alliance. Let's all look forward to the opening. Thank you, Fei Xiao, or together. whoever sending that. See you all in the next episode. Bye. Wait. I'm more excited about the ten fuel than the uh, thousand uh, gems, honestly. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> hey, isn't that? If Albert's huh? on the sky splitter, then who's this sitting here? <laughs> Someone here wants double pay. I really hope you understand where I'm coming from. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, huh? uh, Albert, yes, some... improve myself. See, <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> Does Albert have a fucking twin, a body double, or something? What? Okay, that that end was just kind of confusing. I'm not gonna lie. But holy shit. What a goaded live stream. Oh my god. So, oh, I, I did not expect like half the shit that happened in this one. Okay, um, real quick, let me um go to the Stario Ute channel here. I want to check the <laughs> banner stuff one more time right. because I did All not right. hear it the first That's time around. In addition, a special warp event will be launched in the first half of the Oh, this is okay. Special five. warp event. Limited five star characters, Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka will return at the same time. Okay, so it's just simply, yeah, this one happened every time. It's just a special thing they're doing for this update where there's three reruns at the same time, which is honestly awesome. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty good change, honestly. Just people don't have to wait like for months and months on end just to get their favorite character once again. Yeah, the Luca Lycon is actually pretty tempting, honestly. And I'm also somewhat tempted to also get Black Swan's like E1. Ooh, that, that, that's... <laughs> uh, uh, my, my, my gems are going to be freaking spent in this update i can already tell but hey at least we got a free thousand uh upon like 2.5 release that is insane also by the way but yeah i'm hyped for all the stuff honestly i'm i did not expect a face out boss fight i'm excited about this i want to i want to see what the story implications of this is also of course we're gonna fight huli himself and also yeah, the 2.5 story and everything is finally wrapping up, and I'm so excited to finish it. And yeah, can't wait to pull for Fei Xiao herself and also try and get Mose as well. Ling Xia might be a different issue altogether because I, I have Gallagher's E6 already. I don't feel the need to get Ling Xia, but I guess we'll see like how useful she is upon release. But yeah, just to recap everything that happened in the live stream, um, uh, 2.5 story, uh, finishing up the uh, <laughs> the finest duel arc. Phase 1 is Fei Xiao, Robin... Kafka and Black Swan. Phase two is Lingsha and Topaz. And then, yeah, we have the whole ass tournament arc events going on over here, which I'm so, so excited for. And yeah, just a few filler events here and there. And also, yeah, a huge update to Divergent Universe and everything, which I'm so excited for. Dude, this, this update looks sick. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be so, so great. Only hope, though, that <laughs> my wallet doesn't suffer from this because I just gotta hope that the gotcha lords so that I can get like Fei Xiao and also Black Swan E1 because her E1 is so, so good. I really want it. And also, right, freaking Jane Doe is coming out soon on Zenless and I need I want to pull for her as well. Although I won't. I, I think I should have enough Jade to get her. It's provided I don't lose 50 50. Ah, oh, but goddamn, Hoyo's trying to really milk us dry. <laughs> Like, freaking Natlin just came out, 2.5 is within a few days, and we're also getting Jane on Zenless. Oh my god, my wallet is going to die. <laughs> Literally fucking, uh, like, get killed and everything. But okay, fellas, that is a good place to end things off today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure you leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed my reaction to the special program. And also, you know, subscribe as well and follow my Twitch channel if you're enjoying my content. Because, yeah, I will make some more videos of Genshin, Starreal, and Zenless in the future. Once I am freer, of course. But yeah, guys, that is what I'm going to end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, good luck to everybody who's going to be pulling for freaking, uh, <laughs> how many characters? <laughs> Fei Xiao, Ling Xia, Mose, Black Swan, Robin, Kafka... 
and Topaz. If you want any of them, I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you get them within your first 10 pull. But okay, boys, that is when we get anything off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you guys again next time. But all right, boys, time for me to go now. See ya.